Gospel goodies. Gospel goodies. This is Gospel goodies. This is Gospel Goodies Radio on Philly's Favor 100.7 and 99.5 HD3. I'm Aaliyah Faust, and it's time to tap into some social media updates. And if you're on Instagram, I'm sure you've seen the Silhouette Challenge. And well, Pastor Mike Todd is under fire for addressing it and speaking on women's bodies. Here's the clip. I'm asking you to be a husband that is not trying to impress his college buddies. Uh, But be an anchor for your family that may not be as impressive on the gram, but you're impacting the next generation to love and lead their families. I'm about to preach this thing right now. I'm asking you, young lady, not to do the silhouette challenge and be impressive with your body. They don't even want to know what's in your mind no more because you've shown them everything that's under your clothes. But what I'm telling you right now is that you could be more impactful than impressive. And it's time for the church. I'm about to preach right now. It's time for the church to make a decision. All right. So, I mean, he's a pastor, guys, with a target audience. And it's a disservice for him not to address it, right? He only even grazed it. It's not like he did, he went too deep into it. Um, I don't know, but what I do know is if you watched his sermon today, literally just a few hours ago, um, he addressed it again, but this time he addressed the controversy surrounding it. And in his sermon today, he said, quote, as for me and my house, these Instagram followers don't mean nothing. We serve the Lord. Um, so yeah, how y'all feel about that? Well, to be honest with you, um, I I could just tell you how different 2020 was for my life. And I got to stand with um, Pastor Todd with that one because um, I I see life as a different perspective. And um, if people don't know that um, value is important and, you know, especially when it comes to uh, a, a, a young woman, we as men, um, we, we sought after women. It is our job to find. He to find it for white, find it for good thing. And um, we have been bamboozled to, 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 to believe that it's about the, the outer appearance, the body versus the mind, versus the heart, versus the, the, uh, the, the, the genuine intent of someone. And somebody can get linked up with the wrong person, think that she got a body, got a body, got a body, and she ain't got a mind or a heart. So honestly, um, it's a trick of the enemy to 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 take us off focus as a man. I'll just give you a man's point of view. From uh, just from just a quick add to that, it was about him addressing the content of it worldwide, as opposed to the you know uh, you know from from gender base. Because that could have went either way. Mm-hmm. It really could have went either way. So I think him dressing the content of it was profound. So I really didn't see. I'm a woman, so I didn't take it uh, personal. Yeah, and I mean, his audience is the church. So if you in the church, I mean, some people in the church were doing it. But yeah. I mean, we've, <laughs> we've even Keep posted around. a funny one on Gospel Goodies. But I mean, there's a time and a place. There's intent. Uh, if you are doing it nine times out of ten, it's, it's it's a sexually driven post so I, th- I feel like that's all he was saying um especially because you know relationship goals his whole feature there so i mean his audience is the church so he has to speak to the church so um if you're offended um you know well i don't know but dm us and let us know what you think uh make sure you're following us on social media at gospel goodies and at philly's favor to see the seriousness and the seriously funny stuff uh, the other stuff that went down this week. We'll be right back. You know, we could, I could have talked about that for 20 minutes. I'm oh, glad yeah. you got off of there. Yeah. yeah. I had a whole lot more to say. <laughs> I, I could have stayed in that. Like, <laughs> you go, I had a whole lot more to it was, say. Yeah, I was like, what? But for those who are offended, that's good. Because it let me know that there's the, the Holy Spirit lived within you. He said something that pricked somebody. If you didn't mm-hmm. have a conscience, you wouldn't even be bothered by it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And I don't know. I felt like. Like, of course, we're all sitting there watching it because I've even seen some and like me, I've seen some and I'm like, yes, yes. Right. right. 
but it's yeah. like but i'm just not gonna do that but that's just me <laughs> Right. I just think all of social media is opinion based from everything yeah. that you put up to everything that you watch, uh, everything that you watch. I just think it's all in your opinion. Mm -hmm. uh, there, there's politics. I can't get some people to sit. Believe it or not, Lamont just started watching the news. It's only been about eight months. I used to always just be like, I'm stuck in the news, stuck in the news. Why? It just wasn't your thing. Why? Because it's depressing. News is depressing. So mm -hmm. just because I like, you know, yeah, just because I, I used to try less. to say, listen, I don't know. He, yeah. So it's just, I think it's a preference thing. But so, this, yeah. this last president was so nutty, I had to find out. Yeah. So. <laughs> I need to get in to see what's going on. Like, huh? <laughs> yeah. What? Yeah. I started getting like, wait, you watching the news? But, you know, honestly, yeah. and, and I hope we can go into this later on, you know, as far as our, like, relationships. What are you trying to a a attract? Well, are you? Because I promise you, if if you attract a dude that way, you got to keep him that way. That's true. Mm -hmm. You got to hold out how you start out. But it's a copycat world. We live in a copycat world. Yeah, That's all they could have did the silhouette is, challenge is for your significant other. Mm -hmm. Some stuff you can save for. That's after. all I'm saying. You. you know what I'm saying? Like you know. Save it for after dark. I, I got you. There's some. Yeah. There's some. After and everything's so objective. And I think I think that's the outsider's point of view. Like, oh, we can do this, but we can't do that. Christians are so judgy. And I think, I don't even think it's on a judgy level. I think what he was saying is consider this, consider this. I don't think he's saying you're condemned because you're doing this. I think he was just saying consider this. And I feel like that's where the Basically, lines kind of get. He, he, he wasn't, that, the concept. that true, he wasn't condemning. Right. He just was proving a point of something else. Right. And then people, of course, take it like. Right. Mm -hmm. You know, because that wasn't his intent. That's right. good. I'm yeah. glad you, you pointed that out. Exactly. You could tell by the way he said it. It it's was just not. like it wasn't to condemn the silhouette. It's to to make point and make light of the content. You, uh, you know, there's a song that you have that says God didn't make you to fit in. Now you're talking to a whole bunch of people. Now you're telling people basically that just because you don't, you know, smoke, joke, and drink, don't mean that, that you're not offending the people who smoke, joke, and drink. You're telling the other people that that's not how you have to fit in. God didn't make you to fit in. Yeah. So it could become controversial. Like, who, who is he to tell us that we can't smoke, joke, and drink? Or it could become, you have the other people that's like, you know what? I don't need to fit in. I'm okay with who I am. Right. Right? So I think that's it's good. just the content, what you're speaking to. Mm hmm Because I'm not even going to lie. When, uh, you know, when Meg, hot girl Meg, had the body yada yada challenge, I was yes, in there like. you should have seen me three times. I was like, trying to get it. I wish I knew how to not do it. Not on social media, but. <laughs> no, just, but I promise you, I was in my mirror. A few times, like, oh, body out, especially when Sierra, I'm a fan of Sierra. I mm -hmm. love dancing. Really? <laughs> <laughs> I love dancing. I love Sierra. I will follow her like all day, every day. Mm -hmm. And when she did hers, I was like, all right, body out, 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 out. I'm not going to miss that challenge. No, you didn't see that? Nice at all. I don't know what y'all talking about right now. I'm like, really? Oh, and Sierra we'll, did it. We'll play it back we'll for you. you. Cool. <laughs> I'm not hit. I'm telling you, you got to bring me everything, Leah. I miss out. No. Leah, tell me. That was a big one. I didn't even hear this one. I'm like. That was a big one. Because I could yeah, figure out. Yeah, that was a huge out. one. Yeah. And I'm nosy, so I'm in my head like, what pastor could she be talking about? Is it a female pastor? Is it a male pastor? Like, what? I never even saw that. Yeah, I, I missed that. I didn't see that one. That was a good. That was really good.